Welcome back. We have some sad news to bring you this morning. Our former colleague, former breakfast presenter Bill Turnbull, has died. He'd been diagnosed with cancer in 2017. Now, in a statement, his wife, Ceci, said, Our lovely Billy died yesterday evening, almost five years after being diagnosed with advanced prostate cancer. The last week of his life was very special, as the whole family was with him, and we shared some wonderful moments. As she goes on to say, even though he was often in pain, Bill was dignified and brave throughout, and he was his usual determined self right to the very end. Billy made us laugh every day, and we are immensely proud of him. He was the heart of our family. It's hard to imagine life without him. Here's a look back at his life. Thank you for letting me into your home in the morning, whether it's in the kitchen or the living room, or as I'm often told, the bedroom. And whether you've been with us for the past 15 years or just this morning, I hope you find it worthwhile. It certainly has been for me. Breakfast back as usual tomorrow from six. Until then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Bill Turnbull's final show on BBC Breakfast TV in 2016. He became a much loved fixture in people's homes. So this is where it all started for me. Up there on the top floor of those windows there was the newsroom of Radio Clyde 261, the heartbeat of Glasgow in the west of Scotland. It's where I learned my craft as a cub reporter. I had to learn some very tough lessons very quickly. Bill was at heart always a reporter. His BBC career took him to the biggest stories, like the bombing of Pan Am Flight 103 over Lockerbie in 1988. This may have been one of the shortest days of the calendar year, but for Lockerbie, it's been the longest in its history. We met two children selling bread. His style, honest, straight-talking, down-to-earth. On many levels, this is a thriving, bustling city doing very good business like many others. We've been here for about 20 minutes and people have made us feel very welcome. But there is also a sense that at any point, something could go wrong. <laughs> From tearaway toddlers. Oh. oh, he's back. What you're doing here is a bit of sort of psycho campaigning, isn't it, really? You're planting a seed of doubt in the electorate's mind. To prime ministers, no, not, even not if it's all. explained away later, order has been restored. He was always ready with a quick one liner. Well, I was taking great interest in your isobars there. Would you say they were tightly packed? They are quite tightly packed, yeah. yeah. So. Bill became a star of shows like Strictly. In the place set. Oh, that's so sweet. But it was while filming Celebrity Bake Off for Stand Up to Cancer that he revealed his own diagnosis. The doctor said it's, it's fairly clear from this that you have advanced prostate cancer. May the healing properties of your bees work... Again, Bill was straightforward about the condition, clear with his advice. For heaven's sake, go and get yourself tested. If you catch it early, then that's much better than finding out too late. His openness had a remarkable impact. The number of people getting treatment for prostate cancer went up by more than a third in a year. It's very heartwarming when, when people get in touch and I think, well, I have done at least one useful thing in my life. Helping thousands of other men remains perhaps his greatest legacy. Our friend, our former colleague, breakfast presenter, many of you will be familiar with, Bill Turnbull who, we've just had the news, has died after suffering with prostate cancer. Uh, let's just read out for you the statement from his wife, Ceci, who said, Our lovely Billy died yesterday evening, almost five years after being diagnosed with advanced prostate cancer. The last week of his life was very special, as the whole family was with him and we shared some wonderful moments. Even though he was often in pain, Bill was dignified and brave throughout, and he was his usual determined self right to the very end. Billy made us laugh every day, and we're immensely proud of him. He was the heart of our family. It's hard to imagine life without him. And of course, all of us here sending love and support to Bill's family, to Ceci, his wife. And I think today, after we get over the shock of this, we will start remembering the really funny things that Bill did. Like, just when I presented with him, his energy was amazing. He came into this program and threw everything at it every single day. He was funny when we sat here on the sofa. He was a brilliant journalist and he loved this programme and he loved serving you, the audience. So um, I'm sure you will miss him, but we certainly will too. He was a wise head, mm. 
He didn't take himself too seriously no. when he sat here, which is a great combination. Uh, before we leave you this morning, we're bringing you the news that just in the last few minutes, we've had some sad news. Our colleague, our friend, our former breakfast presenter, you'll be very familiar with, Bill Turnbull, has died. Um, he'd been diagnosed with cancer in 2017. Let's read a statement from his wife, Ceci, who says, our lovely Billy died yesterday evening, almost five years after being diagnosed with advanced prostate cancer. Last week of his life was very special. The whole family was with him and we shared some wonderful moments. Even though he was often in pain, Bill was dignified and brave throughout, and he was his usual determined self right to the very end. Billy made us laugh every day, and we're immensely proud of him. He was the heart of our family, and it's hard to imagine life without him. Um, I can only say that as a team, we're, we are in shock this morning. Um, we know what he meant to so many of you um, viewers, and I can honestly say having worked with Bill so closely as Mike, you did, um, Charlie, we all did, that he cared so much about this program and the yeah. audience. And Ceci's words about him being, you know, funny and yeah. lively to the end, that is what Bill did. I remember did. when he joined, it was like, wow, Bill Turnbull's doing yeah. breakfast because I, we knew him as a really serious correspondent. But when he joined and started working with him, uh, I did the odd, the odd breakfast shift and I realised how funny it was, how he could change the mood brilliantly between the, the hard news and the lighter stuff and he was so funny and then we developed this banter and he was instrumental in then getting me more regularly on the BBC Breakfast Show. He became a mentor, so I owe him so much. I did my and first I, ever shift with him yeah, on breakfast. I can't believe my it. First yeah, ever 20, yeah. shift on breakfast. Um, <sighs> he just, he drove this programme, didn't mm. he? Yeah. yeah and, and that's what, you know, great presenters do and great journalists do and he, we are, of course, sending our thoughts and condolences as well to Ceci, to, to Bill's family. Um, we will miss him very much. Yeah, one side of it, of course, is the professional side that we all knew well, mm. but the most important thing yeah. this morning, of course, is his family. So we wish them all the best. Tomorrow, we'll have a special programme. We're going to remember the life of our much-loved colleague, Bill Turnbull. Um, we will see you tomorrow. Time now for Morning Live.